Hello, um, today we are moving on with uh, percentages and proportions here. So uh, we're moving on to taxes, tips, and discounts. So uh, let's get right into it. So first we're going to define tax. So that is an amount of money that uh, a government requires people to pay. So sales tax. Um, so it's different everywhere you go, depending on the county you're in. So it looks like in Chesapeake, it's uh, 6%. Uh, food tax in the Chesapeake is 10.5%. Uh, Income tax, uh, that's how much you pay from your paycheck, uh, depending on how much you make. And then real estate tax is uh, $1.05 per $100. So that is going to be eh, a little bit over 1%. All right, so um, calculating taxes. Uh, so how much would a tax be on a $12.50 video game at the store? Well, the Excuse me. The sales tax is 6%, right? So what we want to do is take our $12.50 and multiply that by, well, as a percentage, if we turn that into a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.06 for 6%. So to turn any percentage into a decimal, we just have to take our percent and then move the decimal to the left twice. And then now we multiply that decimal times how much it costed. So I'm going to open up a calculator real quick. Um, so that was $12.50 times 0 0.06. And that's going to be looks like 75 cents of sales tax for that so the tax will be 75 cents and how much will we have to pay at checkout for the game well what we have to do now is add to that $12.50 the 75 cents of tax and then that so we'll end up paying looks like $13 and 25 cents for the whole game there and that's as easy as that so to <clears throat> find the amount of tax we just multiply our original number times the percentage turned into a decimal and that'll give the amount of tax and to figure out how much the total is we just add that to the original amount all right, so now moving on to a tip. So a tip is an amount of money given to a person for some type of service. So whether you go to a restaurant or um, get a ride in a taxi or an Uber. Um, so when you're at a restaurant, it is normal to tip at least 15% of the total bill. So if we tip 15%, how much tip would we leave behind if our bill was $25? Well, same type of thing. We're going to take our percentage and turn that into a decimal. Now we need to take that decimal and multiply it times the original amount. 25.5 times 0.15. And that is going to give us, whoops, $3.82 and a half. Let's round that uh, up to $3.83. So 
So a 15% tip on a $25.50 bill will be about $3.83. And to figure out the total we pay, we just add that to our original amount. And looks like here we get three. Looks like our total amount after paying that 15% tip will be $29.33. So some easy stuff to help us figure out tips um, is just base tips on 10%, and then that's going to make things much easier to find for us. So we only have to move the decimal place to the left once to find 10 percentages. So 10% of $25, well that's just going to be $2.50. 10% of $45, well that's going to be $4.50, etc. So to find a 20% tip, we can just find 10% and then double it. So 20% of 32, well 10% of 32 will be $3.20. So that means that 20% will be $6.40. And then doing fives is a little bit more difficult, but not much. So first we find our 10% here, which is $6.50. And then add half of that back to it, because 15% uh, is 10%, and then half of that 10%. So uh, half of 650 is $3.25, plus the 650, and we get $9.75 here for 15% tip on $65, or you can just multiply the 65 times 0.15 if you want to, if that makes things a little easier for you. So we don't really have to disc do these in our head, but sometimes it can be a little quicker. Alright, so a discount is an amount that is taken away from the original price, so a markdown that you get. You get to pay less because they have a discount on it. So a t-shirt at Target costs $19, but is 20% off. How much will we save? Well, we just gotta figure out what 20% of 19 is. So 10% of 19 is going to be 1.9. And then to figure that out, we just times it by 2. So 20% of this $19 will be, looks like, $3.80. So I could have moved that down here for my discount. And then my discount is $3.80. Um, so how much will the shirt be after the discount? Well, this is going to be kind of like our tax portion. So for taxes, we added that to our original price, right? And then for discount, we are going to take that away from our original price. So $19 minus $3.80 is going to leave us with zero. So it looks like after our discount, this shirt will cost $15.20. Alrighty, so that is how we calculate percentages on things to find taxes, tips, and discounts here. So um, our assignment will begin not on this page this time, but <clears throat> on the assignment tab in Canvas on the next tab over. So go ahead and open that up and then use our uh, the way we found calculations for tips, taxes, and percentages here, and then uh, use this to help you complete that assignment.
Um, if you have any issues, as always, just send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, make sure you pay attention on Canvas because there's a short IXL to get done here. So uh, thanks and have a great day. We'll see you next time.